In this class you will study indirect illumination, which occurs when lighting reflects on objects or luminosity from other objects. Open the indirect illumination file located in the course files. Let's try to understand the concept. Indirect illumination depends on the number of objects in the scene. This is due to the fact that they indirectly contribute to lighting from a single point on the surface of an object. Radiosity makes it possible to calculate the interference of light on properties of materials, such as reflection, transparency, details. There are two extremely important rendering options in indirect illumination, which are global illumination and final gather. Global illumination calculates radiosity based on photons, which are light particles. These particles are reflected by objects in the scene and then smoothed in the final gather option. Since final gather is optional, it must be enabled when we wish to smooth photons, which make the lighting smoother and less artificial. The program calculates radiosity when this option is active. You can see this scene used only global illumination. Now compare this one to enabled final gather option. You can see the shadows and lights are sharper. Now let's study some global illumination parameters. In the photons per sample, you define the number of photons used to calculate the global illumination in the scene. In samples, you define the number of color samples per pixel. The more samples there are, the better the image quality will be. In the other options, you adjust the photons in the reflection and refraction in the scene. In the rays option, you adjust the number of rays used for calculating indirect illumination in final gather. Increasing this value makes the global illumination become smoother, but increases the rendering time. Now let's compare some rendering processes in order to understand the global illumination and final gather parameters better. In the first image we perform a rendering without global illumination or final gather. You can see the shadow intensity and how it is not smooth. Now in this other image, both global illumination and final gather have been enabled together. You can see the lighting calculation and shadow look better and the shadows are smoother. So in this class you have studied about indirect illumination and final gather which softens the photons. These resources enhance the quality of the images a great deal. Go ahead and practice the indirect illumination resources so your images will display great quality.